Welcome back to Waikato's All Sports Breakfast, brought to you by that wonderful, sublime, superlative real estate salesman, Peter Kelly. Morning, Peter Kelly. Yeah, good morning, Minty, and good morning to all your Waikato listeners. Great to be back. Oh, I've, mi- I've, to be back. I've missed you. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, it's been tough being away. And listen, mate, the great things to be back for are, A, there's three Barrett brothers starting in the All Blacks oh. tomorrow morning, and B, we must bring up Taranaki winning the NPC quite comfortably, and I think well, Waikato, they were close, I think they were eight. <laughs> Waikato were nowhere near it, PK. But anyway, hey, yeah, the Naki outstanding <sighs> result for them. I'm sure they are still partying hard. Well, just saying that, no. I was in the Naki last weekend for the weekend, and there was nothing going on on Saturday morning other than a few people down by the, the park. There was nothing red and black. I'm serious. I thought the town would be partying up large red before and after, mate. and just nothing. Did they accept your passport? Um, nothing. <laughs> Monday, Monday, those people in Taranaki are, are humble people, as you oh. <laughs> Really? Stop it, PK. Stop, Stop it. it. So, yeah. with the three yeah. Barretts, do you think Scott Barrett will go 80 minutes without a yellow card? Oh, <laughs> he'll go 80 minutes well, without a card, not sure. Um, geez, I don't know. There'll be a coach killer. I was just talking to a chap before, actually, and... Yeah, just a coach killer, isn't it? You know, one of those, one of those sort of penalty the yellow cards he got last time. Ouch. Yeah, if it was one point, you were one point in front, and he does that in front of your own post with a minute to go. You wouldn't be a happy camper, would you? Yeah, and the and the Yarpies have picked um, uh, Andre Pollard, so that makes it a little bit more dangerous. Yeah, he's just going to try and kick from kick goals from about ninety metres out any time there's a penalty. Exactly, and don't blame him either. To be fair. That's fair. So what's been happening uh, in the okay, real now, estate, now, I just, I just, I just want to talk to your assistant for a minute. Um, look, the best thing I've ever bought in my life, Carl, is I had it now about three months, a robotic lawnmower. You'd probably screw up your face and go, oh, God's sake. But, you know, 4,000 square metres of lawn, man, it's good. I get home, everything's like a freaking park. Fantastic. Yeah, my I am screwing my eyeballs up. But, hey, I, I gather, though, I can just picture you sitting on the deck there with a with a nice wee good George Pinot gear. Gris. A Pinot Gris. A Pinot, a Pinot, a Pinot Gris. Gris. <laughs> and your lawnmower's out there somewhere on the lawns, eh? Uh, fantastic. No, it's a, a hazy IPA, mate, just in case oh, you're worrying no. uh, worrying and wanting to buy me something for hey, Christmas. Love hazy it. IPA oh, is, love the, it. Uh, is the tipple of choice. Hey, yeah. Pete, just as a tip on those, those lawnmowers... Do you realise that as the mud builds up on the wheels, they mow higher and higher, so you have to clean the mud off? There's no mud around to go find, mate. Beautiful. Or <laughs> two sandy loam, free draining soil, Minty. Oh, hey, right, hey, hey, look out, PK. But Minty will be asking you, what height you're cutting on it today, PK? <laughs> 32 millimetres. Now, tell me something. It is sandy loam, and it's got everything on its back door. It's 45 Tiakau Coast Road out on the wonderful West Coast. Spectacular farm you've found, Pete. Yeah, well, of course, Minty, we've got a bit of catch-up work to do, haven't we? I've got a lot of these um, spring listings we're doing at the moment, and, and the uh, Tiakia Coast Road, the magnificent property, just shy of 700 hectares. Uh, beautiful place and about uh, six titles. Now, this is a big boys' farm, uh, sheep and beef farm, but it runs onto the coast. You've got your own beach house all in one, so you've got 1.4k of wild West Coast beach you can just... You know, put out the uh, put out the long line. You know, um, or I don't know about you go surfing, but um, really spectacular farm, mate, right on the coast. But it is infrastructure is fantastic. Can't find any better. But a really, really, really good farm. Probably, as I say, a big boys farm and a proper a proper sheep and beef farm, and probably one of the few on the market this year. Well, the good thing about it, it's running real New Zealand sheep called Romneys. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Talking of first girlfriends for you, Minty. Yeah, Romneys they've got. And, um, yeah, no, they're here. Uh, you know them well. Um, yeah, very good sheep. And uh, fencing's magnificent. Infrastructure is magnificent. Um, nice big five bedroom homestead. Yeah, really nice property. Hey, what an outstanding view that, from that farm as well. Yes, outstanding view. Should you see over. Oh, I, I, I urge people to go out for the open day. Just to, I don't care if you're going to be just be nosy, uh, but just go out and have a look. I, I think you're probably right. It's a spectacular West Coast farm. Me being a West Coast boy, that's exactly how it should be. Um, lots of titles, lots of things going on. Looking for a settlement. And the 5th of April 2024 is the right time to go there, but uh, viewing Friday... The 27th of October, that's gone. So the next one is Tuesday, the 7th uh, 
When is the next one? Tuesday? No, th- th- this coming Tuesday, Minty. Um, this coming Tuesday. Um, and it, it'll be 11 to 1 o'clock. This, yeah, okay, so, 31st of October, this Tuesday. And what a great little area yeah, too. Like Tiaka itself, there's a little nine-hole golf course, which I'm actually a member of, and just a little really? sports ground there. It's it's a great little spot over there. Yeah, love it. Yeah, gr- yeah, yeah great community through there. Got the, got the uh, sports hub there. And yes, you're dead right, just um, surrounded by Tiaka study out there, talking of... Um, uh, where the uh, David Ellis is there, at, uh, surrounded by uh, the nine hole golf courses, surrounded by Tiaki has done beautiful spot. And talking of golf courses, let's go out to three four five Waitarimu Road because that's got a golf course too, isn't it? Yes, Minty Waitarimu Road, the Waikiri golf course is right beside, right nearby it. So if you're a golfer, you can go golfing there as well. Yeah, just used just used dairy farm. I just used two dairy farms actually, two hundred and seventy seven hectares. Um, eight titles uh, with the possibility of getting another couple as well. Um, only, I'm only going to have a guess here, but uh, so please don't time it in your car. About eight kilometres to the uh, Ohini White turn off on the motorway on State Highway 1 where Sleepyhead is doing their stuff. But um, eight titles, good easy land, used to be a dairy farm. Uh, needs a bit of TLC for homes, but um, it's just good land and good location, and, and the eight titles are a real kicker. Is this a buy one or both, or buy anything you like? Well, you, well, you've, actually, it's sort of in three main blocks, and uh, one title, one title, one block really's got four titles, and the other two have got two each. Um, but there's a couple of titles of around 100 hectares each, uh, give or take one or two hectares, and then one of about 72 or three hectares. Um, and, and you've got the option of buying uh, one of those titles, or sorry, one of those blocks, or or, or or all three of them, or two, or whatever you don't want to do, really. So there's a few purchasing options around them. So again, when can they view this one, Peter? Oh, Minty, we're out there on Wednesday uh, for the, the first. final open day, I think it is. Um, which is, yeah, the first, which is about, uh, what time of the 12 day? 12.30 till 2. 2 o'clock. Are we going to have the apprentice on either of these two cases this weekend, or is it a bit much after weekends? But bit close to the well, weekend. Well, depends. It depends who's going, mate. And if there's some big dogs with plenty of money, I'd just say push them aside, and I'll say you deal with our <laughs> clients from other regions. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so he's basically back on the bench at Hinuera again, isn't he? Uh, yeah, exactly. So I'm a bit like Richie Moanga when he had um, when he had uh, Will Jordan outside in the other week. You know, if I. If I think I'm getting close to the line, I get a bit of white line oh. fever and I like to dot down myself. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, how are people going to get hold of you? In all honesty, we're gonna ha- how are we going to phone you, please? Okay, Minty, that's easy. 0274-324-278 or peter.kelly at baileys.co.nz. And to be honest, uh, for the test tomorrow, do you care if it's one point or 30 points? Wouldn't care less. Wouldn't care less. I, I, think, I think the All Blacks' uh, momentum is going their way. I don't think they're going to be ambushed like they were last time, um, and it'll only be all discipline that'll lose them the game. You're on the money, you're on the money there, mate. I, I think I, you I might totally be right. That, that's the wisest thing you've said this whole interview, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> probably, all, probably all year, Monday to be fair. I, have, know, I'm, for you, I don't know how long Foxy's away, but I'm gonna. I haven't got a lot of time to bring up a new moniker for you two. It's not. Um, it's not the guy on the Muppets anymore. I'll have to find someone else. <laughs> I'll take this. He's, got a a chrome, he's got a chrome dome with nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, I know Dr. Evil Money Me then, eh? <laughs> Yeah, they say that I've got a face for radio. <laughs> yeah, he has. <laughs> hey, you have a safe Saturday, mate. Uh, look after yourself. Yeah, well done, Taranaki. I will give them their due. They played outstanding footy to win the uh, NPC this year, and the Barretts have been going okay too, and you've heard, heard it here for the first time and last. Holy Hannah, Batman. Yeah, thanks, gentlemen, and uh, you guys have a good weekend, and uh, it'll either be tears or joy, uh, tears of joy or sadness uh, tomorrow morning. It will indeed, mate. Take care, eh? Thanks, Pete.